So we're going to start by creating a new document and I'm going to jump into the part design which I'm already in the moment create a body and we'll create a sketch I'm going to put it on the XY plane OK that and in here I'm going to create a very simple aerofoil now if you're looking at creating something that will actually work in the real world that will fly or a propeller then there's actual aerofoils you can actually import in uh, but this one is actually just for creating models so I'm in a sketcher and we're going to be using the create a B spline in the sketch so I click on that and what I'm going to do is create a simple kite shape like so and what will happen I'm just going to put that point near hit escape and we've got our shape there and I'm just going to click those two line, those two points there and constrain them so our kite shape has been rounded and therefore I can actually manipulate this into a aerofoil shape of my choosing now this doesn't have to be as that, we can actually add more points if we so desire um, but I just want this as a very simple aerofoil so I'm going to go for that bring this button down so I'll go with that, so I'll close that so we'll create our first sketch jump back in and rename this F41 now depending on the shape of our wing we will create a number of these either at different sizes or different lengths or different actually even different shapes what I'm going to do is create about five of these foils by just copy and pasting and when I copy it says the selected object has dependencies do you want to copy them too? I'm just going to go no and in here if I click on my airfoil right click paste we get two three four and five that's great those are named so I'm going to drop these into my body so you can see we've got them all there and when we look at them you see that they're all on top of each other at the moment so what I'm going to do is actually move these along the z-axis so and click on the actual position down here and so that's under attachment position and I'm going to change the z so if we look here you can actually see it moving around. and I'm going to go for about 20 millimeters long the Z. Zoom out a bit. I'm not worried about scaling at the moment. We can actually scale this to whatever we want, but I'm just going for the default. So that's 20. Next one, Z. 40. Next one, 60. And next one, 80 and we want to select our first aerofoil and then click on the lot of selected profile for other profile selections also on the part design additive loft click on that and because we've selected our first one we can actually go and select the rest so our first one we selected was aerofoil one which you remember is now actually placing the additive loft if I click on it you can see it there so we've actually selected this one 
and what we need to do is add selection click the next one down and you'll see a loft go through so you can see that's been joined add selection again select the next one and we'll keep on doing this all the way through but it's important to work from your first one forwards don't swap in between because your loft will go back and forth add selection hit the last one hit OK and that's the loft there done and we've got our additive loft there so that's how to make that part of the wing if you don't actually select those so let's go back a bit if we don't actually select anything in here and click our loft you'll see it see last for selection first so we can actually select our first aerofoil click OK and then we can go in and add the selections add selection keep on going and if we want to remove a selection we can actually click remove and remove the selection from there so there you go that's the actual wing done click OK there it is so we've done the loft for a straight wing but say if I wanted it to be more curved for instance that I wanted to curve inward through the tail edge to the center and then curve from the leading edge to the center well to do that that's a bit more complicated but what we need to do is scale the actual aerofoil so I'm going to remove all of the other aerofoils and just leave one and I'm going to come out of the part design and go over to the draft now to scale this we're going to use the draft Let's click on top so it's nice and centered and I'm going to go to click on the airfoil and go to draft and click on scale and I'm going to scale it from the center so I'm going to pick the center point here that's the point of origin and the trouble is is that if I try scaling in here I can't actually scale down so I can't put a minus value in here so I'm going to keep it as one and what that will allow me to do is it will create a scale clone there and if I come down the bottom I can actually adjust the scale to my desire here so I don't need Aerofoil 1 at the moment because it's hidden I'm going to click on the scale come down here and I'm going to change the scale here so I'm going to put 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that will half it. I don't have to worry about the Z but I can if I, I so desire there 0.5 on the Z so that's halved it. I'm going to go even further actually to go 0.1 and that's creating the very tip so I'm going to call this one rename airfoil 05 I'm going to copy that so do you want to, want to copy the actual dependencies and go no right click on the airfoil paste rename this one this can be 4 so working backwards and I'm going to change the scale of this one to 0 2 and this one to 0 2 same copy no paste rename and 
three and I'm going to carry on. I'm going to make this one zero four this time and zero four. So they're gradually getting bigger and come into here and I'm just going to have this one as one. So we've got kind of an onion ring of air force going on there. And I'm going to get rid of my original air force. And I'm going to highlight all of these air force and go up to draft. Now I need to convert them to a sketch. So we've got draft to sketch here. That converts them all to a sketch. Now I can get rid of these scale ones, get rid of them. So we've got sketches now. So we've got sketch one, two, three, four. So that's working out from beginning to end. Make sure these are around the right way. So it looks like sketch the first sketch is the smallest one, working our way out freeze our outer one, which is confusing. Let's rename these S1 S2. Let's place these in our body and then we can move these into position. I'm going to leave S5 where it is. Now I can't see it. It's the outside one. So that's five there. Leave that one where it is. Now I'm going to click on S4, come down to placement, position along the Z axis. I'm going to stick that at 20. Got to S3, Z axis, 40. S2. Z axis 60 and S1 Z axis at 80. So those are in position now. So let's zoom out a bit so we can see how those are positioned. And now we can do our loft. So jumping back to our part design, click on our model, select one, select the first one. So S5, which is this one, we'll just select it from here. Click on our lost selected profile for other profiles. S5 selected, add selection, add selection, and keep on going all the way through. And there we go, that's what created our wing it may look a bit weird but we can actually change the positions of those sketches if we so desire so let's okay that and that's what we've got and we can come into here and show these so we can actually select one and change the position here so if i so desire can change this slightly. So where's this gone? This gone along the axis there. And we can actually move that up to curve it if we so desire. Like so. Let's undo that. Edit refresh to bring it back in. So that's pick this one here. Let's just move it along the X axis. So I'm going to go there. Let's click the end, S1, move that back. Zoom in a bit so I can see what we're doing. So we can see we can actually change these if we so desire. 
So I'm going to move S3 position forward a bit. Click. So we can actually change the wing to whatever we, whatever we want, whatever shape we want there. There we go. So that's how to actually loft through a series of aerofoils. If you think about it, we can actually change the rotation of these as well. So we can actually make a propeller. So if I select one of these and go into the angle and change that to an angle of say 10, this one to 20, this one to 40, and the last one, something like 60. You can see we've got now an impeller or a propeller that's starting to be built up. So that's how to loft through aerofoils, whether it's straight wing, curved wings or propellers. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.